Whoa, hey, what's up guys? Bearded Watchman here. Y'all wanna do another video, don't you? Hey, I got one today that I think you'll like. Ventus North Star. Yeah, I'm liking it a lot. I like it on the band that it comes in. Uh, I like it on leather, I like it on NATOs, I like it on, you name it, man, I like it. Let's spin this camera around and get you a little focused on what this thing's all about. Let's watch it. All right, let's talk about this um, Ventus North Star here, which um, beginning to be a watch that I really, really like a lot. Um, this guy here, it wears it's it wears the right size. Um, it's a 40, 40 millimeter in diameter, 45 millimeter lug to lug, and it's 13 millimeters thick. It does have Swiss Superluminova C3 in there for the loom. It is a Seiko NH35 movement. It's all stainless steel, 300 meters water resistant. It does have a ceramic bezel insert and it does have a double dome sapphire crystal. It does have a screw in crown. It's got um, a signed crown. It is hand, uh, it's in hand winding and hacking. So what I want to do is, first of all, I'm going to sit this guy right here. Um, whenever you get this guy, it comes with this, it comes in this little box. It's kind of a, you can see the, you can see the Ventus North Star um, logo on that, on that box right there. See it right here. It's kind of, uh, I guess, kind of uh, stamped, kind of. But uh, this box isn't, it's not wood or anything like that. It's kind of a, a plastic material. It is very nice. Opens up and it has a, kind of opens like this. And then inside, this is, uh, that's the bracelet I'll show you in a second. But inside it comes with this, this really, really nice watch roll, um, a, a lot nicer than I was expecting. So it's got this nice little uh, stainless steel buckle. Uh, it is, uh, it does feel like genuine leather. It's very, very soft. Um, I buy my wife a lot of purses and uh, uh, one of the brand purses I really like uh, for her is, uh, uh, I think it's Dooney, Dooney and Burke. If you if you fill a Dooney and Burke bag, this is how this leather feels. So if you're at Dillard's or whatever with your wife, run over to the Dooney and Burke counter and fill one of their leather bags, and this is kind of how this leather feels. So it gives you an idea. And on the inside of this guy, um, it's almost a velvety, velvety smooth, almost a cloth material. It's not... It's not the back side of leather, which you might think, um, kind of a little coarser. This right here, you can actually pull it. You can actually kind of pull it up. You can see how it kind of wrinkles like that. It's attached. It is actually stitched and attached to it. So it's very, very soft. I, I, like, I, I like this a lot for this particular watch. Uh, it's a double slot watch um, holder. So you can put a band or whatever in the watch and the other. And you can see the Ventus logo stamped right there. Stitching is done very well. Um, it's just overall a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat watch roll that you're getting for this watch. I mean, I would probably pay myself, if I saw this, I'd pay $50, $60 just for this watch roll um, if I saw it in a store. So this is kind of a freebie that you get with them. I would much rather have this than than any box. So props to them that they're putting it in a pretty neat little box, but props to them for this. Ventus, this is, this is great. This is where we need to be going um, if we're talking about getting these watches that are, you know, two, three, four hundred dollar watches, but they're they're packaged like something that that's uh, sort of far more expensive than that so this is just a really cool perk um, then I'm gonna pull this guy out because this is what the watch comes with the watch comes with this um, this diver band 
um, which you can see it's got the nice little um, kind of the hex design down on the bottom and then it's got um, kind of, I don't know if you, you want to call it like a like a knit or a carbon fiber look or a, kind of a it's very old school diver it is very soft it's very pliable um, the uh, the buckle is a little different so you can see on on this guy you can see the buckle whenever I went to buckle it it, it was I was like oh it it was kind of different. So you know your your typical buckle. So this is a blue shark buckle. You can see how it's fairly fairly curved and it lays flat like that. Well, you see how this pops up? It curves like this and this little thing pops up. Um, it's really comfortable. I, I like the way it wears. It's just different when you put it on. You're like, oh, that's something, something completely different. So, um, it is a sign, uh, and that that is etched in. It's not printed, which is really really neat. So, the, this this strap is great. So this watch came with this strap here, and then it also came with this with this um, stainless steel. And I think it was fifty dollars. Uh, I think you paid fifty dollars more for this than you would if the one that comes with a kind of a Horwing Distress leather. Um, so this is done very well too. The clasp is very good. It's a diver style, so it's gonna it's gonna pop open like this instead of having the two little keepers on the side. I do like these; it's much easier. But this right here, once it's in. It's not going anywhere, so it does. Um, it does have a definitive click. It does this little guy when it clamps down. It has a definitive click. They are screw in, and I didn't think that they were because the screws are so tiny. I don't even know if you can get that. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Can you see? very tiny. I thought they were push pins. I was sitting here hammering on it and I was like, oh, maybe I need to check and see if that's, it's about the smallest microscopic, um, the smallest microscopic thread, well, let's see, end of a little screwdriver that I could find. It's like a sunglass for your glasses. That's how small that was. So, um, but they are screw. You can see the little screw in there. So uh, the links are really, really nice. They kind of fold. They'll kind of fold almost on top of each other. Uh, it's very comfortable. The one thing that I don't like about this is the male lug at the end. Now they are they are solid um, end links. But this this end link is a male. Sorry, I said lug. I meant um, end link. This end link is a male. So I'm going to show you a picture later. But it hangs over once it's attached to the watch. It hang. It makes the watch about two millimeters wider on both sides. Now this this thing is 45 millimeters. The the watch is um, 45 millimeter lug to lug. Um, but this makes it 49 or 50 with the bracelet on. Uh, it doesn't wear bad, and I've got a six and three quarter inch wrist, so it's not it's not a bad thing by no means. Um, but if you've got any smaller wrist than six and you know six and three quarter, then it might it might start to bother you. So, but I put mine on this blue shark, and this is one of these little. Uh, stretch blue sharks I really do like it on this it fits it fits in the watch fine it um, it wears on the wrist really well you can see my six and three quarter it wears good I like the way that the lugs are very short on this the watch is a has a very big presence on it because the 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 dial is um, 40 millimeters but the um, 
the bezel here is thinner and it pushes out a little wider than typical. So you can see how this is 40 millimeters too. And you can see the difference. See the difference on the dial? The dial does wear, uh, does wear bigger. But the watch itself, and this is a uh, Invicta, the 40 millimeter Invicta Pro Diver, which, you know, if, if you're a watch guy, you probably have one, so you can pull it out of the closet and see size-wise. But you can see how the Ventus, Ventus is a little shorter. The North Star is just a little bit shorter. The bottom's lined up, top's just a tad bit shorter. So it wears very similar to this, if not a little better on the wrist, but it actually wears bigger. I also have a SKX that you can compare this to. Um, they're going to be very, very similar. The SKX is 42 or 43 millimeters across the, 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 uh, the face. And um, lug to lug is going to be pretty close to the same. Let's see if I can get this down there so you can see that. Um, you can see those lugs almost identical. So it's going to wear very close to this watch. Um, so if you've got one of these and you're looking to get one of these, then it's, it's going to wear almost exactly. Um, the crowns. The crowns are in the same location. This watch wears a little thinner uh, than this one, but um, I just I love I love the the uh, coin edge bezel on this watch, and I love the chamfering on the uh, on the edges there. But um, you can see how this blue strap just looks amazing with this watch. And I went I, I chose to go with a the blue. They have this watch in. Um, in bronze, they have it. They have a white face that I wanted, but I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't get it. It it was sold out. So um, this is another NATO strap here from um, Blue Shark, which I like. If you're going to do NATOs, go ahead and do um, Blue Shark. You can get buy two get one free. Buy two get. I think buy three get two free. Buy two get one free. Um, I'm sorry, did I say buy three, get two free, or buy two and get one free? That's how they do it. But these straps are amazing. The buckles are amazing. The the um, This particular one, seat belt, but it's the thin one. If you get one of these, make sure you get the thin uh, seat belt one. And then you're going to get this, this um, keeper here that goes up and down up top. But it really looks good on this watch. Um, it wears good. Uh, it folds over very good on the wrist. Let me see if I can get this on there for you, just at least so you can see. But you can see how it looks very, very good on the wrist. Um, and that that band kind of folds over. But uh, now I would I would say that this thing would probably look awesome on that uh, on the Horween leather that it comes with. But I've got a leather strap here that um, you can kind of see that that watch will look pretty sharp on, on leather too. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get better pictures. My light is not letting you see up real close in detail on this watch. So I'm going to uh, get you some up close shots and then I'm going to put this... Um, I'm going to put this strap or this uh, this bracelet on and I'm going to show you on my wrist at the end um, so you can you can see what it looks like. So um, there you go guys. There's the uh, Ventus North Star. Let's see if I can't get a closer video for you on there. So that, that guy has a Swiss Luminova in there. You can see the chamfered edges it's finished very very well you see that bezel that coin edge bezel is just amazing and the uh, uh, the crystal the double dome sapphire crystal is really pretty you see the the uh, the numbers there they are all loomed It has a signed 
sun crown and the finishing the finishing on this guy is excellent it's very hard to pick up that blue on camera but I'm trying trying to do best I can for you I love the the date at the bottom that it's in blue and that 29 is not white it's kind of just a little bit off white so it really really looks sharp with this watch I love those hands they have that right down the middle you can see they've they've got that little definition it's kind of a fold which is really neat the light plays off of it very very well and the indices are all raised and applied you see the little kind of train track around the outside that's really nice too and you can see that it's flat on the outside it's not gloss but on the inside of that dial you can see the reflection of it it really is a uh, very very well finished I love how the second hand goes all the way to the end I don't think that they've um, they haven't cut any corners on this watch the dial it's 120 click it's very very it's easy to move and it uh, has very definitive clicks there. It's very, very nice, very nice. And you can see the crown. Let's see if I can. The crown has the edges of it are very, very, uh, uh, very easy to uh, screw this guy and unscrew this guy. Pops out. You can notice uh, it is hacking. It is hacking. Um, it is hand winding. It screws back in very, very easy. I'm going to pull this um, this strap off for you, and I'm going to show you the back of this guy. I love this this back. It is done so well I just I love that helmet it really does make this uh, makes this watch you could tell here this is number 60 of 150 units so there's only 150 of these guys you see the 300 meter marker Venice North Star at the top and then it says Sapphire down at the bottom um, it, it, this watch really does feel in your hand like a very very superior or um, very more high-end watch than than your typical you know two three hundred dollar watches so I would think that it would be worth every penny of what you pay for this guy and if you want to step up from like a from like the Seiko or step up from like an Invicta or whatever this is the next this is the next step and I think you'll be very very surprised even if you step above this watch I think that uh, you'll be really really surprised by it um, and you really won't want you really I don't think you'll want anything else <laughs> that was a joke you know us watch guys we can get a watch and we can instantly want one the same day we're like this is so cool did you see that new oh yes I did so here's some ultra close-ups for you so I hope you enjoyed the video I'm going to uh, put some pictures up best I can of it on my uh, six and three quarter inch wrist as well and um, thanks guys once again see ya hey Please click uh, subscribe. I'm trying to boost my subscribers on the channel. So if you don't mind, um, click.
click subscribe for me and I'll keep on keep on posting these guys. Thanks a lot.